Hello dudes, dudettes, duders, and everyone in between, and welcome to How To Do Everything, so you don't have to. I'm your host, Jesse Kester, and if you've been using the ATEM Mini, or the ATEM Mini Pro, or the ATEM Mini Extreme, or the ATEM Mini Extreme Pro, or the ATEM Mini Extreme Pro ISO, or the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, or the ATEM Mini SDI, or the ATEM Mini SDI Pro, or the ATEM Mini SDI Extreme Pro SDI ISO Pro, you might have noodled with the XML file, or you might have made some changes under the hood, and you want to go back to factory settings. In this video, we're going to show you how to do exactly that. That. Let's get right into it so that you can get back to making fantastic live edits. We're going to be doing this demonstration on the ATEM Mini Pro, but the procedure remains the same across the entire constellation of ATEM Minis. This will not work on the constellation of ATEM Constellations, though. This is only for the ATEM Mini series of switchers. There are some special rules for the extremes, and we'll get to those at the end of the video. For now, let's get into the ATEM Mini Pro. The first thing you're going to want to do is unplug everything from your ATEM Mini. Next, hold down the on button for mic 1 and plug your ATEM in. It'll power up and that on button will start blinking red. This means you're going into the debug mode. Next, plug the USB cable in. And now it's time to jump over to the computer. Find your ATEM setup software, not the ATEM software controller, but the ATEM setup software, and open that, and your device will appear. Next, click on this little button here. Update required, that means that it's time to update this ATEM. So we're going to click update, and it'll take a minute, but we're going to let that download and update the device. This is actually a really good time to talk about this video's sponsor. Nobody whatsoever. Back to the computer. The update is completed, so we click done. Next thing you're going to want to do is go over to your ATEM software controller, go up to File, and clear your startup state. Your ATEM is now as smooth as a baby's behind. If you're using any of the extreme models, you want to be careful about one specific thing. There's USB-A and USB-B. When connecting to the computer to do this reset, use USB-B, not USB-A, as the computer might not recognize the ATEM. Good luck, enjoy those resets, and now please get back to making fantastic live switches. Bye!